Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode on the Stoke career mode. We are pretty much flying right now in the league. We've crawled it back up, which is absolutely glorious to see. We've got games coming thick and fast, a few players we need to have a look at and carry on this form. Marsh is doing well, the 4-4-2 is rocking and it's time to take over the championship. Right, first up, guys, is going to be against Bristol City. It's going to be a quick sim, this one is. Team is looking pretty much like it normally does. Fletcher Campbell up top, Marsh on the left, Timon on left back, Suter Wilmot in the centre half, Joe Allen and Nick Powell in the centre midfield, Simmer and Smith on the rings, and then you've got Bursic in goals. Let's get the quick sim, see how we get on with this one. Come on, please give me the result. It's a 1 0, let's go, Joe Allen. Joe Allen bailing me backside out in the 68th minute. Get in there, that's a huge result. Let's go. Game's coming thick and fast, and now we have Blackburn at home. It is a big game as well, because we could potentially go above them. We are two points behind them, so a win can kind of overtake them. we just got to hope Preston and Middlesbrough don't do well in their games, but it's going to be a tough one, and players are a little bit tired now, so we're going to leave them a rest. Fletcher's going to come off. We're going to give Madger a run out. I think that's the only change I'm going to make. The rest can deal with the situation that we've got in hand. I'm happy with that. So let's get into it. The playing five at the back going to be a little bit of a issue for me because we struggle to break down the, at the back with Brees and Diaz and Gallagher up top and then Bradley Dak in the, in the centre bed. It's a tough team because it's a very strong side, but we've got to do what we've got to do. We are at home at the Bet365 Arena. And it's time to get a win at there as well. We could do with a win. Keep this 4-1 going. Because we are playing really well at the minute. And playing some brilliant footballs. We bring this ball forward through already. Sim is there. No help in the box. No one in the box neither. And they got the five at the back. Look at that line of five players in the red and black shirts. So we've got to be careful with that. It's going to be hard to break down. We pick up that ball though. As Marsh brings it forward. We're going to play Tyree center. The oh no. Okay. We're not going to go the other way with Simmer. As Madja makes a good run overlapping straight through then. Good good touch. Can we get the ball in? See Tyrese there. Tyrese going to try and win the header. He certainly does. And what a save that is from Comiskey. What a save. And what an header as well. Corner going to get whipped in though. Aim it from post. Wins the header. Off the bar. Rebounds. Strikes it. Goalkeeper with another save. What is going on? What? Not another one of these games. Not another one. Going to whip this ball in again. Right in the centre. Try to get the winner. Don't know what's happened. There's Suter. Good block. Harry Suter using his feet. I'm not sure what was going on then. we try and whip this ball in. We seem to be dangerous there. Header away from Ben Brita and Diaz. Wilmot finds the ball. Going to try and play it through. There is Simmer. Wide open. Terry's Campbell. And there's a goal. I thought Simmer was offside. It looked like Blackburn switched off as well. But it's a great effort from us. And we put the ball in the back of the net in the early stages of the game to give us a 1-0 lead. Pick that ball up again in the center. We're going to break through. Oh, his magic was through. He still is. That is Marsh. Marsh on his right. Going to put it in. Marsh. What? Jeez, Marsh. You need to be doing better than that, buddy. You need to be doing better than that. It was a good break from us. Picked up the ball in the center spot. And then the ball just come through. Unfortunately, Suter couldn't get above it. Heads it over the bar. Big chances and a real strong start from us in this first half. Good tackle in the centre then. Gives it to Dak, to Diaz, to Rothwell. Plays the ball outright to Gallagher. Good football in here from Blackburn. We've got to put the block on as the ball comes through. There's a strike. And Bursic down to his left, saving it. Briatan Diaz trying to get in the score sheet against his hometown team as well. He was born and bred in Stoke and then moved to Chilean. Didn't know we had Chileans in Stoke, did you? What we certainly do is we're going to calm down now as the ball is going to be released from Burisic all the way to Smith there. Good passing movement into the center to Powell. As the ball gets loose somehow, I'm not sure how that's quite happened. As, Dier, Biet, uh, Biet, as Gills brings that ball forward on the left. Plays the ball in. Can we get a winner away? We can. Suter's there. Big, tall. And he's got the strength as well. Good football. So we need... Run matches there. Can't get away from it. Bit of a heavy touch then. Poor from me. We pick up that ball with Joe Allen. Finds a good pass. Needs another one though. As Campbell's there. Tries to find Sim. It's a good interception from at Gills as he's gonna allow Blackburn to now counter-attack. As the ball gets through from Beer to Diaz. And it's a strike from Rothwell. And he is wide of the post. We've been let off there. A little bit easy with our passing. We are famous for that. We know we misplaced passes here, there, and everywhere. But that was really poor from us. And it nearly cost us a goal. So we're going to move this ball forward as Tyrese Campbell is offside, unfortunately. A big chance. And it's gone begging with an offside. 
Dak picks up that loose ball in the centre field. Going to push forward now for Blackburn. Just takes it past Joe Allen. And then Pedro Diaz. What a finish that is. Ben Brierton Diaz. Clinical as you like. Doesn't miss this one. Puts it out of the reach of Bursic and equals the game up in a 1-1 one -one situation. Blackburn certainly put the pedal down to the floor then. They knew they were 1-0 down and they know they needed a goal. And they played absolutely brilliantly then. Good football movement from him. That's what I said. Every said in the earlier one that Dak would be an issue and he certainly was then creating that beautiful goal and what a ball that is oh, unfortunately from Marshall a poor cross Tyrese does keep it in somehow though magical feet from him try and keep that ball then gets mopped up by Gills and easily for Blackburn we've got to be careful with that because his distribution of the football is absolutely fantastic as Gills tries to push forward and there is Mr Tommy Smith mopping that up easily done Light work of it as Tyrese has just bounced past the player. He's going to push forward now. Try and open up on his left. Going to take a strike. Goes over the ball. He had plenty of options. But the stars shined in his eyes and lit up as he sends the ball over the crossbar. Simmer picks that ball up in the centre field. Going to play it to Tyrese. Can he get past again? He kind of gets a little bit of luck as Simmer's in the box. He's going to strike it across. What a save. What a save from this goalkeeper. Fantastic play on the stroke of half time. Keeping it in, giving his team talk for his manager easier. Unless the ball comes in, Suter tries a little bit of control. It's a poor control, but we do have a few seconds left of the half. But the referee blows up. It makes that team talk a little bit easier for the Blackburn team with a great save. Just got in there. 1 1. We have been the better side, personally, I feel. There is plenty more goals in this game. Second half underway, and we are already counter-attacking from their kickoff as Marsh gets the ball. He's going to try and dribble through. Oh, he's just showing off now. He knows he's in the first team, and he is showing off. Maybe we need some competition on that left-hand side because... Yeah, a little bit too much then from him. Throw in for Blackburn in deep into our half. Pretty much on our penalty spot area. As they push forward through, good passing movement. Suter's there to mop up then and unlock a chance. As Madger gets that ball, sees the run from Nick Powell. Needs help as the ball keeps going forward. Going to play the through. There is Tyrese Campbell all the way through. One-on-one -on -one situation. Strikes it. He's missed. What? Show me that one again. Oh my god, he's at the outside post. <laughs> what a chance. He was Pick up that ball with Joe Allen. Going to look for the pass. There's the overlap. It's a great run as well. Simmers on the ball. Kind of needs help. Just shielding away. Good feet though. Gets a block. It's going to be a corner for us. We have been a bit deadly winning these. Can we get another one in the box? The ball's going to play in. Is that is there? And it's a good header away from the Blackburn defence. But the falls loose. And Nick Powell with a strike. Can't get it in. Or well, can't get it through the goal with a shield of wall of red and black shirts. Then as Blackburn get that ball away. As they push forward now with a bad pass finding Wilmot. We're going to push this now. See what we can do. As Josh Timon pushes forward. Finds Marsh. Waiting for the right passes. That timer has overlapped. Fantastic play from Josh Timon. Could try and cut it back. Match is there. Match is strikes. It's another save. Easy one for the goalkeeper. A good item just to the left of him. Nothing too spontaneous then. Good save from the keeper. We're going to put this one in the box. If we can. A looping one. And the keeper, full of confidence, claims that one. And just carries it out. It's a bad pass though. His match is going to strike. He sees the keeper off the line. And he catches it easily. He was out too far. The goalkeeper again. Poor distribution. As we can't get the ball through. This goalkeeper's having a nightmare for the distribution of him. Ball gets played forward. Brent Brierton Diaz plays it out wide. A great delivery as well. So Ranky Costello. Can we get the block in? Good ball roll. But there is Suter. The 7 foot 25 is not getting away from that. Easy money for him. He's just straight at him. But Blackburn do get the ball back. And it's a great ball through. And it's going to be struck. And it is going to be 2-0. Buckley going on the score sheet. Opened us up way too easy. And it was an easy finish for him in the back of the net. It is 2-1 to Blackburn. We're going to make a couple of substitutions though. Because I'm not too happy with what's going on. We're going to bring off Powell for Vrancic. And then also we're going to bring Baker. And he's going to play on the left hand side. Just gives a little bit more pace with our players. And that should help us out. And hopefully we can get a draw here. Because tables have turned on us. Good ball movement in here from Blackburn as they're trying to cut us open. As the ball gets played through, 
What? Oh my, I didn't even know what to say then, guys, because I didn't know what was happening. He's absolutely rifled it off the post, and it starts straight back to him. Ben Brierton doubles himself for a brace, and that is 3-1. What has just gone on? Like, here we try to clear the ball away. That, oh, I don't know what's happened then, guys. It's not what we needed. Straight, but pretty much from our kickoff as well. That is awful from us, but we've got to go again, and we've got to keep going. Because I know that there's still goals in this. We've still got another like, 18 cyber minutes. So we've got plenty of time to try and get a goal here. And then once we get a goal, that changes the momentum of the game for us. Absolutely does. That's a great ball in through to Baker. Going to play all the way across. Tries to find Tyrese. But there is a shield once again of them red and black shirts. Just mopping up and doing a fantastic job defensively for Blackburn. The five at the back. Playing havoc on us once again as the ball gets played through. It's going to be a ball through. And he is offside. Burisic was there, though. But I don't know if he would have got there in time from the kickoff. We're going to play this through. There's a great ball through. Tries to find Baker. He puts a little bit of pressure on Zefuki. I have pronounced that so wrong that I'm not going to include it in this. Great ball played up to Diaz. Going to bring it forward now. Finding Pickering. Can he get a whip in? He's going to shield the ball. He is playing for the time. What an absolute scumbag. But I'd do the exact same thing. As the ball gets played in, Briatan Diaz there. Good football from Blackburn. It's straight into the goalkeeper's hands. We need a break and we need a goal ASAP if we want any kind of consolation here or a draw. So we're going to push forward with Madja. Trying to find Tyrese. What a ball that is. Tyrese Campbell wide open. Opens his body up. Gets the goal. Five minutes left. Plenty of time for this. Get the ball. Let's go. The hard part now is trying to get the ball back off Blackburn. And we certainly do as we bring this ball forward. Tyrese, one twos with Madja. Got to try and find that ball. It's a, it's, a it's a flushed one. I don't know what flushed is, but we've pushed that ball through and it's not good. But we still have it. Ah, we're panicking now. We're trying to push the ball forward way too fast. And we just need to take a time as we need the ball back ASAP. As Suter's there in the midfield, mopping up as we get two added minutes. And we've got to try. Oh, we just messed that up. That was my chance. That was my chance. We push forward now. And the ball gets played through. All the way through to Piaz. Oh, Piazic with a great save. But the time is ticking here. And I don't think it's going to be enough. As the ball gets played in. A big header away. Referee has a look at his watch. And we're going to break. Oh, he blows the whistle. It's 3-2. It's, oh, it's not good. It's unfortunately a loss at the Bet365 Arena. Blackburn coming in and being very crucial with their shots on target. It's a good result for them and it puts them ahead of us that little bit further as well and just takes the step of the playoffs out of our reach. Can we carry on though? We need good form. Let's get into the next one. So guys, I have been reading the comments in the sections. First and foremost, a massive thank you for anyone that does put comments in the section. They massively help me out and it just gives me that little boost when I'm playing FIFA and doing my YouTube videos that people are out there enjoying this series and wanting recommendations on it. And it does help me out as well because I am pretty new to the career mode. So you recommending plays to me helps me out massively. But here are all the comments that we got in the last episode. And the first one comes in from Uma and he says, In January, look at both Louis Porter and... Is it Malik Wilkes or even converting Jacob Brown to a right winger? First one on the Jacob Brown, he has already been converted to a right winger. He is there. That's going to be his position. We know he can play up front, but I know he's done a good job in the right midfield position. We're going to play him there. He has done well with Simmer when Simmer either out because we're using Simmer's pace at the minute, but Jacob Brown is going to be used a lot more and he's going to be in that right mid position. So we've definitely got them on there. And we also have scouted in Kane Lewis Porter. And I am looking at Lewis Potter so bad. Not just for his name, but this guy looks absolutely phenomenal. If you have a look at his acceleration, his sprint speed, his agility, his balance, and his stamina fantastic and then you flick over and you see his like ball control is pretty good as well his crossing is not the best but we can definitely improve on that dribbling 70 as well he's just really a strong player he's got the flair and he's a tactical technical dribbler as well i'm really thinking this is going to be the player that we bring in would he come to stoke right now i think it's a no realistically he goes to a a pushing promotion side in the to the premiership or a relegation battle premiership side so i think he's going to be more of a signing for maybe next season or if we are close to the, the player promotion we look at him then but he's a fantastic recommendation a highly one as well so great call also we have wilkes as well who looks like another fantastic player who's going to be absolutely just dangerous he's 22 year old englishman and he is absolutely flying we still got some more scouting reports on him he has got the flair 
trait and a long shot taker as well, which I like a lot. So I might take a punt on Wilkes. He is a right winger as well, so that also means we've got competition there. But Simmer does go back to Brighton at the end of the season, so he could come in and be that one there. He is at Hull as well, so not the best of size personally that are doing well. So we could definitely look at them and try and bring one of them in. Wilkes. If we don't get promoted, Wilkes comes in. If we do get promoted, it's Lewis Potter that comes in. That's the plan so far. Next one was from Slappify, and he said, look at Reese Oxford from Osborg for a centre-back. He is a Stoke-type player. The fact to use Stoke-type player made me look into this guy even more. I do know who Reese Oxford is. He's had plenty of time in England, and then he moved away. I love that he's actually gone to Germany, and he's doing a real good job. Six foot four, centre off. Very good. His acceleration and sprint speed can get up to 71 to 74. Massive, that is. Jumping of 82, 88. Real good strength on him as well. A very good player. You can just see any stats. We do need to do the full scout report on him. But for me, he looks really good. I'm definitely going to have a look at this guy and try and bring him in. Once again, I feel like he's another promotion side or a fighting relegation premiership side. I don't think he comes to the championship straight away not at the age of 22 and he is playing for Augsburg. we've got to be in the premiership to get him so if we get promoted he's definitely on the list i think he could be an absolutely clinical player for us and really really good so definitely highly recommend that one so massive thank you and then one of the players that i've been looking at personally is brennan johnson he's been absolutely fantastic irl for not forest and he looks a real good player he can play left wing back so we can definitely use him as you can see the stars we haven't fully done a scout on him yet but he's got the stars on acceleration speed agility and stamina so he's a very quick nimble dribbler of the ball really we could really do a story about him and be in the next Gareth Bale as a left winger. That's how I see him and that's how good I rate this guy. So we could really see what we can do with him. But if not, Forest don't do well and we get playoffs and or promotion, we go in for this guy. He's a left wing back. He works alongside Marsh. Marsh can learn off him as well. He's only 20 and all of these guys as well that we've recommended are all UK, so they are all homegrown for if we do ever get European football and the development of these players are that good. So, highly recommend all these players. They are absolutely brilliant and I massive, massively thank you. And one last comment that did come in, and we've always got to remember this one as well, guys, from that guy Vince, and it is always Ryan Marsh. Remember the name. But we need to get back into football ways and it's going to be a game against QPR. It's going to be a quick sim. We are level points with them. A win would be massive. Right, let's play them. They have got the five at the back again, which is going to be a pain in the arse. Dykes and Prince up front. It's going to be a real handful. Willock, Field and Jensen in the middle as well. It's going to be a tough game for us. One change I'm going to make is I'm going to bring on Fletcher. And we're going to bring Madger on as well and just leave it at that. Quick sim in. Can we get a win? Please. It's a 1-0 to QPR. That is not what we needed. A tough result for us, unfortunately. Not what we wanted. It makes us a little bit further behind as well in the push for the playoffs. We are ninth, and playoffs are now three points ahead of us. Massive, massive gap then. We need to start playing some good football and some good football ASAP. We have a game against Middlesbrough and they are 7th in the league. This is going to be another big, big game for us and another chance to push for the playoffs. They are two points ahead of us, so we can potentially go above them. Fingers crossed that happens, but let's see how we get on against Middlesbrough. Going to get on the changes as well and we're going to give Simmer a rest because I'm going to give Jacob Brown a run out, see what he can do, see if he can fill me with a few bit of confidence there. And we're also going to give Magic a run out up top for Fletcher. Let's see how we get on at the Bet365 Arena. We've got to learn from our mistakes that were in the previous game where we just kind of lackadaisically thought we had the game won and we just took a foot off the pedal and it was great for football from Blackburn but we just got to stop this. Same as with Middlesbrough, that's a great run by Fisher. Into the box, plays it in. Can we get the ball away? We do. We need the players tracking back. I think that's Tyrese Campbell as well pushing back as Nick Powell with a great touch. And then a very poor one straight after. Balogun brings the ball forward. The Arsenal striker on loan at Middlesbrough. That's a great signing for Middlesbrough at the time. we just got to try and be a little bit more sensible with the ball. As we push forward now with Smith, finds Jacob Brown. 
Gain his start that he deserved. As Tyrese plays the ball through to Magic. Magic, great feet. Going to strike to cross. What a save that is from Daniels. Powering it out to his right. It's going to be a corner for Stoke. We're going to whip this ball in. Try and find a front post corner. Head it down. Is that Tommy Smith? And he gets cleared away. Another corner for us. To whip this ball in. Can we get another header? Rise like a salmon. And it's over the boy. It's actually Marsh gaining his getting his name in there and chucking his body about, showing what it means and what it means to be in the starting 11. We bring this ball forward with Magic now in acres of space. No one's closing him down. It's a heavy touch. We've got to keep eliminating that. I think we're going too fast on the sprint then and we've just got to try and stop it as they've just done the same thing as we bring the ball now with Tyrese somehow loses it. And it was a big chance for us then. He just had to take a good touch, but unfortunately wasn't meant to be. We pick that ball up again. Powell plays it through. Great ball. Going to try and find Magic. Unfortunately, Tyrese can't get his pass through. We've got to try and look for some passes a little bit more sensible. It's just forced through as we push forward now. And there's middle spread. What a save from Bursic. Trying to break us down. It's so simple. It's a great save from Bursic. Magic pushing out from the box now from the corner. Looking to try and find the right pass. Tries to play a ball in. Tyrese gets the ball. It's a great tackle from Taylor, but it's going to be a throw in towards on the right-hand side. Campbell throws it in to Brown. Back to Campbell. Good play to Magic. Needs another run there. As Campbell makes it. Oh, Taylor again with the interception. What play from Taylor. He's been absolutely brilliant for Middlesbrough. Stopping any attacks coming through. And then as Suter doing the same. Ooh, what's a bad pass? We've got to wave it though. Brown finds the ball to Powell. Good football to Campbell. To Magic. Plays the ball through. We've got mega lucky as Campbell's through on goal. Oh my days. There's no way. There's no way he's just done that. He didn't even bobble. He didn't even bobble. Suter brings the ball out from the back. Oh, that's a bad pass. He just got a little bit carried away then. And it gives a little space for Balogun to pass a move. We play the ball through, and that is a great interception. We're going to push forward now. I see Marsh making a run. Can he get it through? What a ball that is through. Going to take a touch. He's going to hit it, and another fantastic save from Daniels. We're trying to cut across his body, but he's pulling off some immaculate saves. Suter's there with the adder. Can he get in? Oh, he's just grazed over the crossbar. It's a good chance off the corner, but Suter can't direct it on goal. Powell picks up that loose ball. Lovely in the centre. Going to find Magic. Going to make a run for it. Can he get a ball in? Can't see no one. He's going to strike it. Yes, it is another save from Daniels. Pulling off these camera saves. Great plays. We're going to whip this ball in. Good ball in. That is very dangerous ball. As the ball goes over the top. And I don't know how. But Nick Powell has done a chicharito in the exact same spot he did before. And that is a fantastic header. Flying backwards. And over the goalkeeper. And the guy on the post as well. What a ball. And them corners have been deadly today. A one goal lead is absolutely crucial for us here. And now we've got to lock on. We can't be how we were before. We've got to do what we do and just try and keep the ball out. We Every time off kickoff, we just seem to like lose control. Like, look how fast they've gone into our box here. So simple. And there's Suter calmly doing it away as we get this ball forward. There's Magic going to play it back. Oh, it's a good tackle. It's a very good tackle. Middlesbrough push forward now. Passing the ball around. It's Wonderly well. Balogun's there, and there's a good block from Wilmot in the center. Good spot, and we're going to break now. Finds the ball to Madge. Madge's going to try and lift the ball over the top to Tyrese. Acres of time, acres of space as well as he pushes forward. That's a great tackle from Paddy McNair. Fantastic tackle. Any threats then? Just eliminated as Fisher pushing down acres of space with that pace as well. Going to keep an eye on Fisher because he's a good fullback that we could potentially swoop in for. Two minutes added on in the first half, before half time. And that's a bad pass in the centre then. We're going to get that back though. We bring it forward. Have we got a chance to have an attack? What are these passes? Okay, half time then. Referee blows it. We've got to strengthen up and tidy up these passes. Very poor from us. And I feel like we've got the potential to be better than that. So, mess up, clean them passes up and we get in and win this game. Second half underway. Tyrese Campbell going to push up forward as Stoke shoot to the moving end. Trying to give the fans something more to cheer about with this brilliant passing that they're playing. Stoke alone are back in full force. As Magic plays the ball through. Great pass to Tymon. Still on the ball. Magic takes a strike. And it's over the boy. It was like a little slap shot. As you'd see in ice hockey. 
come from nowhere, hit it over the bar though, unfortunately, finding the ball through. Oh, Campbell, I don't know what he tried then. I don't know how you tried to force that through, but it wasn't going to go through then as Middlesbrough now pushed the other way as we've just poorly executed our attack and it's a bad pass leading towards to having a little bit of a breather and we push forward as Joe Allen finds Jacob Brown on that wing. Going to play the ball over the top to find Tyrese Campbell. He certainly finds it. Tyrese on the strike. Oh, Tyrese with his right foot. What a ball. What a run. And what a finish that is. Doubles our tally. Takes a two-goal lead into the last half an hour of the game. And what a finish that is. Head down. Bang. Off the post and in. Get in there. This is certainly more like it. And I am absolutely loving the way we were playing football. Okay, the Blackburn one was a little bit of a a wake-up call for us, but now we are playing good football as we push down with Marsh on this left-hand side. Going to try and play a ball in, but Fisher's there with a fantastic tackle, just blocking the attack then. As Tymon plays the ball in from the throw and finds Marsh. Going to find Zavin Acres of space. Nick Powell's there, takes a touch. Nick Powell strikes it. Nick Powell has somehow... Okay, he's giving it to Tyrese. That must have been a deflection. We need the keeper off, and somehow he's gone in the back of the net for Tyrese Campbell. We don't know, but we take it. Let's just watch that one again, see if we get a better camera angle to see what exactly happened. Powell hits it. It takes a deflection off Tyrese Campbell, and it goes in the back of the net to give us a three-goal lead. The knot wasn't meant to be, but these things happen in football. I do apologize, guys, as unfortunately I was just... I just got distracted as I was playing, and it looked like Blackburn have... Uh, sorry, Middlesbrough have scored a goal. It was a great play. I'm just going to show you what happened here so you can understand. I was just away, like, literally... I couldn't commentate on it as I had something to deal with. I didn't pause it like an idiot. I just carried on playing, thinking nothing happened. But Blackburn come through, play the ball through, and it's a deflection over our goalkeeper and goes in the back of the net for Blackburn, which gives them a goal. So for Middlesbrough, gives them a goal. Once again, I apologize for not commentating over that. It was my bad. I literally just got distracted for five seconds. I was just going to kind of pass the ball around for a bit. My bad. Complete mistake. Apologies all around. We move on. 3-1. Deflected goal for Middlesbrough. 3-1. As Middles were pushed forward now with that momentum, trying to find something. As my plays are nowhere to be seen, and Bjorsik has to pull off a save. Parry to the right, giving a corner to Middlesbrough. Got to get rid of that ball. The ball comes in. It's another reaction save from Bjorsik. Good volley from the Middlesbrough player. And it's cleared out as the corner comes in again. Vrancic gets that ball cleared, though. And all we do is try and shield them off. Don't let them get another one. As Marsh is there, going to try and win it, but he doesn't get the corner throw in. Fisher plays the ball quick, finds Fry. Fry finds it in the box. Good ball movement. Good play. And there is 3 2. Corbin gets on the score sheet. And it is 3 2. We have got to be sensible here. Do not let us do not let us bottle this 3 0 lead. Do not let us bottle this. Straight from kickoff. Campbell on the ball. Heavy touch. Oh no. Momentum has full swung for Middlesbrough. As they're going to bring this ball forward. Corbin is there. Plays it out wide to Fry. Good movement from Middlesbrough. As it's, oh my god, they're executing passes unbelievably. As Fry plays a ball in, and there is Joe Allen mopping up, doing the defensive duties, being that extra defender for us in from midfield. And I am absolutely all aboard that as a bad tackle comes lunging in, and that is giving give out Mario a injury. And I'm not happy about that because there's just no need in it. Pick up that loose ball with Campbell. Wins a fantastic ball through to Madger. Gonna try and play something through as Marsh picks up that ball and needs help. Finds Madger again. Back to Tyrese Campbell. Tyrese Campbell strikes it. It's a good block from Paddy McNair yet again. It's going to be a yellow call for that awful challenge. And we're going to get the ball in. Try and whip it in. As the ball comes in. Tyrese is there. Oh, it's a great header away. Mario with that knock. Tries to pick the ball up but can't get it. It's going to be brought out by Middlesbrough. And that's going to be a fantastic ball. But there is Josh Tymon. Mopping that up, easily done. As Vrancek with the injury, plays the ball forward, finds Joe Allen. Going to try and play the ball in to Tyrese. What a ball that is. Tyrese Campbell, get in there. 4-2, fantastic goal in the 87th minute. And he is running off to cheer and celebrate. And that is a fantastic ball. Inch perfect delivery and a great strike with his right foot. 4-2. Three minutes of added time is due. And we are just going to keep this ball now. Marsh pushing down the left. Easy money. Plays Joe Allen. Back to Marsh. Going to find Madger in there easily. We're just keeping the ball now. It's all I want to do. Is Tyrese is going to strike it. Stuff it. Oh, it's a great strike. He's still the 93rd minute to four. You know what? I'm having a crack from long distance. Ball gets played in from the corner. Parries away. Good header. 
And the ball is cleared away and referee blows the whistle as we get a 4-2 win over Middlesbrough. Fantastic result. We showed grit. We showed determination. And we did show a little bit of falling asleep again with them two goals. But Tyrese Campbell with an hat trick saves the day. And he puts us really in content for the playoffs. So it's bad news, guys, as Super Mario is out for three months of a broken toe, all for that poor challenge that was put on him for just no reason whatsoever. And we are still three points off the playoffs. Let's have a proper look at the league table to see where everyone is. It says we're eighth, which I'll happily take. So we are 12 points off the top and 11 points off automatic, which is going to be tough to get into. I don't think we're going to go up through the automatics. It's going to be a tough one, that is. That's a lot of points to claw back. But we are three points off playoffs, which is very, very doable. And I am very confident we can get there as well. Sheffield United, Millwall, QPR and Blackburn. We really should have beat Blackburn, shouldn't we? Bloody hell. And QPR beat us as well in the quicksand, didn't they? Flipping heck. They're, they're results that could have put us in the thingy. But it is what it is. And we go into the next one. But guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. If you did like it, please leave a like. And hit subscribe. Helps me out massively. And also, keep dropping them comments, guys. They do get shown in the videos. It also helps me out. And i love to see what your thoughts are and who the players you think can strengthen this side as well. If you want to see more content from me, just above me, you'll see the Napoli save, which we are going flying in that one as well. And you guys have been awesome. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye-bye.